Maybe checking in again, guys. So I've just had a little bit more of a look at this um, AIT one. You can actually see the actual finish on this one here. It's got like a pitting to it, which doesn't lift. So I guess um, as far as quality control goes, that's not great. Because you've got this transition in the finish from here to this edge where it's smooth. You can really just notice there, here, and here, it's like pitted. It's almost like that is the same etching, and it's almost like a bleed from the actual zebra. So that's definitely not machining oil or anything like that. And you can see it just around all different spots, and especially there where it's got like a carryover bleed from that. Zebra. So yeah, I'd say for, you know, what's regarded as, I guess, moderately priced, medium price, even I'd say high price for me, that's not, I guess, great as far as quality control goes or a fit and finish. Like, um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty sloppy. Anyway, I guess this is their first run and first crack at it, so I'm sure that um, they've got a few issues to iron out there and um, hopefully this putting up this video will help because I'm sure that if mine's got it, many will. Um, so yeah, so this kind of side here, th that section there looks pretty good. But um, these other ones, yeah, that's not good at all. It's almost like, yeah, I don't know, it's like an etch bleed potentially from where that Zebra's been done down to here. Anyway, guys, that's the point of the video was just to show them side by side and just to compare if you got a bit of indecision. I think this one here has got the same finish consistently over the top and bottom, whereas that's got machining kind of finish with that um, shitty finish down the bottom. So there you go. If you're undecided, um, there's the two side by side. See you, team. Hello team, Petey checking in um, with another unboxing. Um, this time we've got the second type of um, zebra putters. So it's just um, just turned up. We'll just have a bit of a look. Same standard packaging here. So we've got um, the putter uh, wrapped in the plastic again. So there are the specs there um, on the sticker. So it's the Zebra AIT1, right hand putter, 35 inch. So let's have a look. So we've got like the, the information card. So register for your extended to your product warranty. I'm not too sure what that actually covers. Um, and then the same nice print, it's got that zebra silhouette there um, from old mate Rolly, who's apparently designed a million putters. So um, they come pretty well regarded. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, so then we've got the putter. You can see it's got, I think, what's referred to as the pistol grip. It's got like smooth texture there. You can see that's um, shiny. And then it's got um, this textured rubber. It's pretty sticky, grippy. There's the 35 inch zebra. And that's with like a silver 
and that's smooth as well too. And we got the actual branding of the rubber. So it's a win AVS mid-size pistol. That's super grippy as well. So as far as putter grips, I wouldn't say um, that's fat by any means. It definitely tapers from the end uh, down to the shaft. Uh, it's not fat at all. Um, it's not like one of those really cool square fat jobs. But anyway, it's um, be good to replace my 20 year old putter. So then on the shaft, we've got um, this sticker. So it's got the zebra branding on that. Um, no real markings as to the steel or anything like that. Uh, so from end to end, you've got the grip. Coming down to the actual head cover. So that's in some kind of, feels pretty slippy. You can see it's got uh, the zebra texture silhouette to it. Um, it's kind of soft, it kind of feels like vegan leather, PU leather. Uh, then it's got the zebra branding. Stitching feels pretty tight, pretty good quality there. And then more zebra branding on the back. And the back edge, so that's going to be the edge facing up once the golf sticks in the bag. Uh, and then we've got the actual Velcro lock off for the head cover. Pull it out. Okay, cool. So that's the update on the traditional putter. And it's got the zebra hologram silhouette. So let's have a look at that. Um, under the plastic, with the plastic wrapping off. So it's got like a kind of a grippy powder coated finish to it. It's slightly textured, it's not full smooth. That's the, whatever they call that machine phase. So from the fit and finish of the AIT3, this one looks slightly better. You can see some more of these, I believe it would be cast marks. Get rid of that plastic there. Um, so the channeling in this one here um, definitely seems to be sharper. Something like a slight little bit. There, that's really nothing. Paint lines also seem to be heaps better. Where the actual shaft meets the putter head. It looks okay. So that's the full spin around of the top. And then we'll have a look underneath. So this is, you can see the finish change from the actual sides and the top to underneath, which is more of a machine smoothed out. You've got your weights, 15 grams there, 15 grams there with um, that really cool um, zebra texture to it. I reckon that looks awesome. And you've also got that zebra silhouette, which I reckon looks really cool. AIT1. This is all like a metal finish. This branding logo thing, I think that'd be stuck in there. So yeah, so I reckon that's pretty cool. Um, and then just for a comparison, it's actually bought um, the wrong one, so this is um, the two of them side by side, which I guess I hadn't seen. And so if you're interested like me, and we're a little bit undecided, that's the two side by side. So I think they're about similar kind of weight and similar size. I think um, 
face to face the round guy actually looks a little bit bigger I might just pop them down here so I can have a bit of a better look so we can see them yeah side by side there So yeah, that's um, the spider star um, versus the round one. And from the back angle, see that there as well. Just shift that up. Just want to give you a better view. So, um, I think the number one looks definitely a little bit more meaty um, than the three. Yes, yeah, so that's it side by side. The three is definitely longer and the weights are more spread out. Let's put these down and I'll show you the both of them underneath. So the grips are identical. Oops. Yes, that's them side by side. So you have got a bigger fit footprint actually on the three. It looks a bit of an optical illusion when you're looking at it from the top down. And if I'm just to shift them over. Oh, let's get number three over first. There's your number three. And there's your number one. And they're square on now. Yep, so change that just so they're consistent across and you can see them side by side. So the number three is definitely a bigger footprint. But yeah, both really cool putters. I think um, I'm definitely happier with the number one. I think the lines look a little bit easier to read for me. Um, and yeah, so if you've got um, any kind of, I guess indecision between the two and me actually making an incorrect order to start with. Um, that's that's your two side by side and hopefully that will help. And I guess that's gonna be how they look when you stand over them and line them up. Actually going for a hit. So yeah, the number three is definitely a bigger footprint. And then, yeah, that's the face of both of them, too. So you've got the first face. And then the second, which is, you know, pretty similar. Righto, team. Well, um, I hope that helps you to choose between, I'd say, both of these pretty awesome putters. And, um, yeah, hopefully it helps you to see them both side by side in a little bit more depth. Have an awesome day. See you, team.